Neurosurgeon Dr. Michael Ellis is the medical director of the Pan Am Concussion Program. This innovative initiative is a multidisciplinary clinical program providing specialized care to children and youth suffering concussion while advancing concussion-related research. Growing up in a hockey town, I've always been a bit of a hockey fan. Uh, my, I've been fortunate to have a brother that played in the National Hockey League, and so um, I think I was kind of exposed to the, you know, the concussion um, crisis, if you want to call it, I guess. What kind of drew me to this was that, you know, I think that it was somewhere where I could bring my expertise in traumatic brain injury to try to, you know, elevate the standard of care in among patients that are treated for this condition. And it was also an opportunity for me to be exposed to uh, clinical uh, research and to be able, we really don't know very much about concussion. And, and so it was, a, it was a field where there, it was kind of wide open in terms of making new discoveries and trying to improve patient care. Dr. Ellis agrees that there is a heightened awareness of concussion more recently. I think a lot of people in Canada would kind of point to Sidney Crosby's injury as being um, kind of an event that sort of focused attention on this concussion issue. He began to formulate a plan to open a specialized concussion-based facility in Winnipeg. So I had uh, come out here probably about a year and a half ago to visit with the, the folks at Pan Am, both Wayne Hildall and Peter McDonald, and some uh, some of the uh, stakeholders in the Division of Neurosurgery. And we kind of uh, came to the conclusion that this was a, a huge unmet need um, in Winnipeg. There really wasn't a center that was devoted to uh, providing kind of specialized care for, for these types of patients. And so with working with Pan Am and the University of Manitoba, we sort of formulated a plan to kind of um, uh, establish a pilot study that could assess whether or not there was a need for this and then try to move forward in, in creating this program. There's definitely some models of concussion clinics that are going on um, in other areas of Canada, but uh, when I look across Canada, it's difficult to see um, a program that you know is equal to ours in terms of just the sheer um, cumulative amount of experience in traumatic brain injury. I, I really don't think that there's another program in, in Canada and potentially there's very few in North America that, that meet this standard. The three main uh, focuses of this clinic are really clinical care, research, and then community involvement and education. And so uh, the clinical aspects um, and care of our patients um, is very closely tied to research. We have numerous research projects that our patients are involved in. Some of them are involved in up to five research projects. And so it's pretty seamless the way it is here. We benefit from the fact that our patients are very generous with their time in terms of wanting to participate in these studies. And it really translates into much improved care because we can, you know, you know, we can answer questions that they have with data that we've collected among our own patients. And so we're not guessing, we're not using expert opinion, we're actually using real numbers that, that uh, we've uh, uh, accumulated here. So I was playing indoor soccer with my school soccer team and I like fell down and I got a kick to the head. So yeah, then that's how I got my first concussion. And I didn't think of it at the time, like I wasn't that dizzy. Later, I really got dizzy and was feeling all the symptoms, so my mom took me to the hospital and then they diagnosed it as a concussion and then they recommended this concussion clinic. We try to tell patients, we try to educate uh, player, you know, athletes about us that if you do go back to sport when you've sustained a concussion and you're not recovered from that concussion, there is a risk of you sustaining another injury to the head that could lead to, you know, worse symptoms and that could lead to prolonged symptoms. You know, the risks of multiple concussions, even when you're recovered or not, you know, there's always the risk of having long-term uh, consequences such as things like depression and anxiety and, and neurocognitive decline and stuff like that. Dr. Ellis has been really, really helpful. He's so easy to talk to too. And like he, after just a couple of uh, like tests he does every time, he, he, knows, he knows what's next, which I think is really good to help, help me move on from this concussion. We try to make sure that everybody um, tries to, or takes the right action whenever there's a concussion that's suspected and so that they can be managed appropriately and they can be returned to play when we have uh, the, the best opportunity to confirm their recovery. We work very closely with um, uh, the leadership at, at Winnipeg Minor Hockey to develop this program so that there's, you know, there's very clear guidelines of what to do if there's a suspected concussion, if there's a suspected, you know, severe traumatic brain injury, and, and exactly the steps that need to be taken for the patient to be uh, properly managed from a medical point of view.
We've been very um, thankful that uh, you know that to have a partnership with uh, True North Sports and Entertainment and the True North Foundation that allowed us to come into possession of this uh, you know facility and this land, and so um, it's been you know an amazing opportunity. It's a, really a one of a kind uh, facility, and, and it, be, it was really made possible by that very unique uh, partnership.